Hi students, <coughs> I hope you all are very fine. I hope you all are have done my max homework. Yes, in previous lesson we have learned that some of the properties of rational numbers. Let us start with the remaining rational numbers in this particular class. So let us we have that third rational number property we call it as associativity. What is meant by associativity? Here, associativity for addition. It can be written as a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c means the sum of the first two rational numbers added with the third number will be equal to first rational number added with the second and third numbers. Then, with uh, one of the example, we can verify it. For example, 1 upon 3 plus 2 upon 5. Here you can add this and you will get the, for adding the fraction numbers, we all know that we have to find out first the LCM of it. So, LCM of 3 and 5 are 15. And make the common denominators 15. 3 divided, we get it 5, multiply with 5. 5 divided with 3 you will get and divided with, multiply with 3. So we get 5 plus 2 3s are 6. Then plus 1 upon 2. Then you can see that here 5 plus 6, 11 upon 15 plus 1 upon 2. Again you have to find out the LCM that is 2 15s are 30. And when 30 is divided with 15, you get a 2, multiply with this, 30 divided with 2, multiply with a 15. So we get 11 twos are 22, plus 15, 1 15 is 15. So we are getting 37 upon 30. Same way we see that the other part of this property that is again 1 upon 3 plus 5 twos are 10 and divide and divide with 2 multiply with 2 and divide with 2 and you will get 5 multiply with 5 so 4 plus 5 therefore 1 upon 3 plus 4 plus 5 9 9 upon 10 that will be Again, find out the LCM and add it. 3 times are 10, 30. And you will see that here 10 times and here 3 times. So, we get 10 plus 9 threes are 27. And we are getting 37 upon 30. It means that rational numbers are, rational numbers are always associate with that your property. Rational numbers are associative for addition. In the same way, we can prove that even the subtraction. Second, for subtraction, how it is? In subtraction, you can see that a minus b minus c is equal to, it is not equal to a minus b minus c. It means that in subtraction, that rational numbers are not associative for subtraction. So, we can calculate and find out Again, find out the LCM, 3 5s are 15 and 5 and here 3, so 5 minus 2 3s are 6, minus 1 upon 2. Then you will see that 5 minus 6 is minus 1 upon 15, minus 1 upon 2, it is equal to 15 twos are 30 and you will find out the LCM of this and you will get it. 30 means 15 how many times? 2 times and divide 30 with 2 that is 50. So 2 plus 50 and you will get it 17 upon 30. Now when we solve it, verify with this second part, you will see that it is not going to be equal. That means uh, for subtraction, you can see that uh, uh, associative property is uh, not equal with uh, subtraction. 
Now let us see that to multiplication. Multiplication a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. That also can be verified with the given example. So 1 upon 3 into 2 upon 3 is equal to 2 upon 15. Then multiply with the 1 upon 2. So you will get your answer is 1 upon 15. Then same way here also 1 upon 3 multiply by here you will get 1 upon 5. That also 1 into 1, 1 and 3 fives are 15. So 1 upon 15 is equal to 1 upon 15. It shows that rational numbers are associative for multiplication. In the same way we can, in the same way we can prove that uh, for the division, how associative property? Associative property is not equal with the, not equal with that uh, rational numbers. So we can conclude that uh, associative property, that is rational numbers are not associative for division. Let us see more rational numbers properties such as existence of additive identity means what? When we add a rational number with zero, the rational number in any order you add, even you will get a rational number. It means that zero is the additive identity for rational numbers. So what do we call it as additive identity? Means any rational numbers added with zero and so will be a rational number. Because of that zero is known as additive identity for rational numbers. In second part, multiplicative identity. When multiply with any rational number with one, in any order, you will get a rational number. It means that one is the multiplicative identity for rational numbers. And in uh, example, this additive inverse, when we uh, see about the additive inverse, see that uh, a upon b plus minus a upon b is equal to zero. When opposite numbers are to be added, when two rational numbers are in opposite condition, when it add, you will get the zero. It means that first rational number will be opposite to the other rational number. So, additive inverse of a upon b is minus a upon b. Additive inverse of minus a upon b is a upon b. Same way examples you can say 3 upon 4 is the 3 upon 4 additive inverse is minus 3 upon 4. So, that is also one of the important uh, that uh, what we call it as a uh, properties of uh, rational numbers. Now let us see that a reciprocal. Reciprocal is also known as multiplicative inverse of the rational numbers. For example, 3 upon 7 into 7 upon 3. You can see that it is answer is 1. So when the two rational numbers are multiplied, you will get answer 1 means the first number will be the reciprocal of the second or second will be the reciprocal of the first number. Therefore, 3 upon 7 is the reciprocal of 7 upon 3. Same way, example, minus 4 upon 5, reciprocal is, it will be, sign will not be changed, but a reciprocal will be 5 upon 4. In this way, you can see that when we divide all this, multiply these numbers, you will get a 1. So it is known as the reciprocal of that particular number. And you all can say that a 0 does not have any reciprocal. Now let us see that what is meant by distributivity. There is a distributive property there in the rational numbers. So there you can see that A can be distributed with B and C. That means A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. It is a addition that a multiplication is distributed with a addition. Here multiplication is distributed with a subtraction. So a into b minus c is equal to a b minus a c. So this with these properties we can uh, using this property we can solve some of the sums. Now let us see the sum how can we solve it. I told you, you know this uh, uh, properties of rational numbers can be used in this sum. So minus 2 upon 3 into 3 upon 5 minus 3 upon 5 into 1 upon 6 plus 5 upon 2 means it is rearranged. So any order you multiply, you, we have already learned that uh, rational numbers are always uh, commutative. 
commutative uh, property for rational numbers can be used in this uh, stage. Now, next we can see that uh, here minus uh, 3 upon 5 and 3 upon 5 is common. So, take out the 3 upon 5 outside and make the uh, distributivity of that uh, rational numbers property. So, you will see that uh, minus 3 upon 5, 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 plus 5 upon 2. That means you can see that here 3 and 6, you have to find out the LCM and add the uh, fractions. So, 6 is the LCM and you will see that a 4 plus 1 that is 5. 3 upon 5 into 5 upon 6, you will get that a 1 minus 1 here and here it will be 2. So, minus 5 upon 2 5s are 10. Then plus 5 upon 2, that will become minus 1 upon 2 plus 5 upon 2, that is minus 1 plus 5 is equal to 4, then 4 upon 2 is equal to 2. So this way we can use the property and solve the sums. Now next one, another one more question is the verify that. Now verification you know that always we use a RHS and LHS. Now, <coughs> RHS and LHS. First, we find out the LHS, left hand side. LHS is equal to minus x, minus into minus x. It means that minus into minus 11 upon 15. That means minus into minus plus. That is 11 upon 15. And we saw that 11 upon 15 is equal to x. That is the RHS. So, here you can say that LHS is equal to RHS. Thus, verified. So, of, I, am, um, I have solved these two sums. Accordingly, you can do your homework also. Homework is given in the website. Okay, thank you.